In other news, Prime Minister Baldwin Spencer is confident of local support for the Citizenship by Investment Program. In giving his closing remarks before the passage of the controversial act in Parliament, the nation's leader reiterated that the program will significantly boost the economy and provide exactly what the people need, economic stability. My view is, Madam Speaker, as a government, your duty is to govern, to govern, your duty is to lead, your duty is to say to the people of Antigua and Barbuda, this is how we see this thing and how we believe that it will help us to move our economy, create jobs, provide us with the window of opportunity to do what we want to do that will benefit you, the people of Antigua and Barbuda. And that's the mandate that we have. Spencer says he's not suggesting that the views and suggestions of the opposition should not be taken into consideration, but says it is up to his government to lead the country in its best interest. The Customs and Excise Division has commenced accepting credit and debit cards as an additional method of payment as of February 1. The move is one of the reform initiatives to modernize the customs process and improve trade facilitation. Importers can use credit and debit cards, Visa and Master logos, at the Customs Head Office at Deepwater Harbor and Air Cargo. Efforts are currently on the way to offer the service at the VC Bird International Airport Baggage Hall, the General Post Office, Nelson's Dockyard and Jolly Harbor.